by Airkey. Guys, have you ever watched the movie Inside Out? I don't know, maybe you're still a little young, it's quite a cool movie. It's all about the things you feel. People feel quite a lot, right? I don't just mean what you feel on your skin and body, but what you think and feel in your head and heart. The movie shows us five things or emotions. Joy, sadness, fear, disgust, anger. Do you also sometimes feel these things? Now can you imagine other people feeling things too? Some days are wonderful and others are quite tough. Jesus was also a man who felt things. Through his life he came to show us that we can feel with each other and show that we care. Jesus even cried with people. Do you think when you see someone that is sad that you can sit with that person and feel with him? Do you think if someone is happy and wants to celebrate good news that you can be happy with that person? I think we can. To have compassion with someone means to feel together and care. Jesus teaches us how. Let's look at a time like this that Jesus felt emotion as a human being on earth. And wow! He then makes an incredible miracle happen in this true story. Let's read together. Friends, let's read together from the Bible. We are going to read from John 11. Remember, John is in the New Testament and it is one of the books that tell us all about Jesus' life. So in chapter 11 it says, Now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay sick, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. Can you remember that? So the sister went, um, sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one that you love is sick. On his arrival, Jesus found Lazarus had been in the tomb already for four days. When Jesus saw them all weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid him? He asked. Come and see, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here and that they may believe that you have sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped in strips of linen and the cloth still around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. What a wonderful story. Jesus really cared a lot for people. He still cares a lot today. He cares for you and me too. He heard the news of his friend who was very sick. Everyone was worried. When Jesus arrived at his friend Lazarus' house, he had been dead for some time already. Everyone longed for their beloved and they thought about how life would be different without him. The funeral was already over. Jesus saw that everyone was sad and crying. His heart felt for them and he was sad with them. 
He cried for his friend and for all those who were suffering over this death. He felt sorry for everyone around him. His heart was deeply touched. How special is it that Jesus knows how it feels to be sad? He understands human emotion. The stone in front of the tomb was rolled away and Jesus did something wonderful, really fantastic. Jesus brought Lazarus back to life. He wasn't dead anymore. Wow! Only Jesus can do these things. Now, He doesn't always raise people from the dead, but on this day, He did a miracle. Jesus invites us to have compassion with others as well. This means that He invites us to feel with other people. We can cry together when someone is going through a difficult time or is sad, and we can be happy together when someone is doing well. It, this doesn't become your grief, your sadness, or your situation, but you show that you want to be there for that person, that you want to understand, that you want to support him or her. You feel together. Jesus shows us through his life that we can care for one another. He teaches us how we as one great family can go through the wonderful and the difficult times together. We can cry together and we can laugh together. It's actually very special. We live life together as we look out for the miracles that Jesus still does today. This is a great gift, but it's also a great responsibility that Jesus helps us with. This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine Let it shine Let it shine On a Monday I'm gonna let it shine On a Tuesday I'm gonna let it shine On a Wednesday I'm gonna let it shine On a Thursday Oh yeah On a Friday I'm gonna let it shine On a Saturday I'm gonna let it shine On a Sunday morning Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you feel with us and understand what we feel. Help us to care for others like you care for us. Amen. Bye.